what's up, y'all? My name is Z. Uh, I'm an RA here in Ravel, and I'll be showing you around Argo Hall today. Uh, I'll be a senior this year, and uh, we're entering out here on the fourth floor. Um, so, on Argo there are six floors, five of which have living spaces. Um, so, we're, I live here on the fourth floor and I'm in charge of about 45 residents, typically. Um, and so, now you get to see what a typical suite or dorm looks like. So, to get in you'll need a card. Um, this will be given to you, of course, to your assigned living spaces. And you'll need to punch in your code as well. Alright, so this is what a typical suite area looks like for the common area for Argo Hall at least. Um, so we have a triple, a single, and a triple here. Um, and then as you see we have a whiteboard here uh, with all this stuff you can use to write on it. Um, and so yeah, this is typically where people hang out, um, get to know the suite a little bit better. And then also your IRs most typically post newsletters. Um, and so, yeah, that's what All right, so typically you'll be assigned a room number and then on top of that, a letter. So A, B, or C. So typically A corresponds to the lower bunk, B corresponds to the higher bunk, and then C corresponds to the loft. And typically the loft usually has their own desk here and their own uh, closets underneath as well. Uh, a and B usually decide to switch between the desk um, and so on and so forth. So each of these suites here in Argo Hall are conjoined uh, by a restroom and so we have three sinks here um, and then we have cubbies for each one of the residents. We also have two restroom stalls over here and then we have two shower stalls over here as well. Uh, and make sure to wear your flip flops. So for the assignments for this upcoming year, you're most likely going to be placed in a triple, um, maybe a double if you're lucky, but if you need a single and need the space for it, you can go through HGH accommodations and they will be gladly serving you. Uh, this is typically where you wash your clothes, um, so you can go to any of the levels on Argo and you'll be able to wash your clothes on any one of these levels here, so among the five floors. Um, and then we have two washers and two dryers for everyone to use here on the floor. Um, this is the common area for Argo 4, um, that each floor has its own lounge. Um, and so you'll have a table here, you have a couch to your right. And then also you have this little bar area here for you to sit up on. Um, and then over here we have a kitchen. Uh, we have a stove and an oven as well with each with covers where you can store some of your supplies if you want to. And then also we have a microwave here for the general use. Alright, this is the common area for the entire building of Argo, so if you're ever looking to chat around with some friends, you can always come down here because there's always people down here. This is also the basement here to my left, and so here we have a couple other lounging areas um, and some hanging chairs that you get to sit around and lounge around all day if you want to. Um, also to my right here we have two piano rooms, so if you request a card from the student services offices, um, you can be able to check out a room for the piano. So Argo Hall is right next to 64, which is our dining hall, and then also next to Rogers Market where you can get some beverages, some food, um, and even some coffee for the morning. 